What's up guys, Holland Lee and OG Fitness. Welcome back to the channel. All right, in this one we're gonna talk about uh, BJJ is superior to Judo. All right, all right. So let me let me read you guys the comment first and the question. I think the person is trolling me. I'm not sure if the person's serious or not, but I just wanted to make a video and address uh, a couple of things there. Uh, you know, I was laughing not because um, uh, you know BJJ. I'm not I'm not laughing because judo is superior to BJJ. Dude, they're just different sports, so to speak, right? And anyways, let me read you guys the comment and you guys decide for yourself if this person is trolling me or is actually being serious. Like, yeah, I have no idea. So it's kind of funny. Let me, um, okay. This is from John Illingsworth. Why don't just admit BJJ is superior to judo? This is a response. This is in response to a video that I made I forgot what the video was because I forgot to write it down. Anyways, it was a response to one of my videos and, and he put this in the comment section. So why don't just admit BJJ is superior to judo? Uh, because it's not. <laughs> <laughs> judo pros are extremely hard to pull off on trained people. And when the randori goes to the ground, judo newaza is so basic. That's how he wrote it with like a whole bunch of O's and a capital O right in the middle. So, so, so basic compared to BJJ, it's not even close. So when talking about BJJ and Judo, why not just tell the truth? BJJ is superior, is a superior martial art. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So once again, guys, I have no idea if this is a joke, like if it's, if it's, you know, John, John, if you're watching, comment again and tell me, are you trolling or are you serious or, or like, you know, are you being sarcastic? I, I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't get it. But I figure I'd make a video and answer, um, give my opinion on, on what all of this, right? So first of all, mm, it always depends on the practitioner of any martial art to say that one is superior than the other. I mean, they all have, every martial art has their strengths and weaknesses and they were developed for, you know, their particular set of circumstances in the environment that they evolved out of, if that makes any sense. Now, judo pros are extremely hard to pull off on trained people. If you're going off against a, another judoka, of course, because if both of you guys know how to fight judo, then you know what to expect and you both kind of, you know, of course it's gonna be very hard. It's gonna be very hard to, but judokas still throw judokas, right? On And so when you say a trained person, what do you mean by a trained person? You get me? Because you could be, you could bench 200 pounds, but if all you do is, you know, power lift, I could probably throw you if we're the same uh, height, weight, more or less, you know, even if I'm not as strong as you. So, but or, or if you're trained, but let's say you're trained in boxing, if I clinch up and you don't know how to grapple and you don't understand, uh, you know, positioning and all that for, for judo and for, you know, grappling and takedowns, then yeah, of course I'm gonna throw your ass, you know? So, <clears throat> Not necessarily true. Like it depends on what you mean by train on trained people. And here and regarding the other comment, when the randori goes to the ground, judo niwasa is so basic compared to BJJ. First off, BJJ comes from judo. Yeah. For those of you guys who don't know that, that's where it came from. And if you guys want to go check out more information on this, I'm not a big history guy, but if you guys go to Ch Shaddy's channel, you guys all know Shaddy. Uh, he's really, his specialty is well, the history of it all, of, you know, of grappling, of judo, of BJJ and all that. And I've made some videos. Uh, we, we did a podcast together and yeah, we talked about it and I've watched a ton of his videos. Tr 
trust me, ground game isn't something new. This shit existed like in the freaking 1920s, man. You know, they were beefing about it in Japan, like different schools, Kyoto and Tokyo and all that. And all the moves that you see in BJJ exist in, um, in, in, in judo. Like they all, you know, it's just that in judo, well, nobody, um, it's a rule, it, the, the rules, the rules dictate, you know, why like they do things the way they do in competition and all that. But anyways, I'm, I'm getting a little bit off topic. What I'm trying to get at is that, um, oh yeah, so <laughs> BJJ stands for basically just judo. And then you change the rules so people, sports BJJ got a little bit fancy with, uh, you know, certain techniques and all that, like, uh, but you know, it's, it's, there's, there's really nothing new under the sun, guys. Like if, if you guys spend a couple of hours watching Shadi's videos on the history of BJJ and judo, you guys will see really quickly that, yeah, you know, like there's nothing, there's nothing new here, so to speak. Now, so when, when John here tells us that uh, it's so basic, when you throw somebody in a street fight, you do not want to hang around on the ground and do bearing bolo or do whatever fancy. No, you, you want to finish it quick, quick, very quick. You know, you're going to break the arm standing up. If you, you don't even want to go to the ground, you throw the person and from there, you're going to break the arm standing up. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to Kimura, also known as Udigarami, by the way, that's what it's really called, you know? So you Kimura the person or Udigarami, or you just stomp them out with your feet, you punch them out, you know, or you could stay on top of them if you want until, you know, uh, and, and neutralize them, so to speak, but you don't really want to hang out on the ground, go to side control, go on your back. It's a little bit dangerous on the streets. Like there's always, in a self-defense scenario, it's, it's not where you want to be. So you want to stick with basics. And what are the basics? Well, you got the choke, you got the arm bar, you got the kimura, that's it. Like what more do you really need when it comes to the street? Okay, so enough of that. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. It's not even close. Yeah, it's so judo niwaza is so basic compared to BJJ, it's not even close. Yeah, you just don't know your history, you know? And no, it is. And while I do agree that there are like um, a lot of things, um, there's a lot of creativity involved in BJJ, and there's a lot, and, and there's a lot of cool things that judo might not put the emphasis on, but the tick and, and the setups and everything and the steps to get there. I agree with that. Because <clears throat> judo is very like, you know, uh, just because they don't hang around on the ground at all. You know, so they don't, uh, they didn't develop any. So I do agree that there's a lot of, uh, you know, ways to set things up, combinations, this and that, all kinds of stuff. Um, but the techniques itself, from my understanding, all of them existed in judo. All of them, all of them, literally all of them, except maybe bearing bolo. <laughs> okay, so when so when talking about BJJ and judo, why not just tell the truth? BJJ is a superior martial art. It's not. It's because it's not. It's not a superior martial art. Why would it be superior? In what sense? Like you're gonna, you know, like in what sense do you mean it's superior? Like. Like, it's, you mean as a martial art? Okay, here's the difference. When you look at a fighting art, there's the martial art aspect of it, there's the self-defense aspect of it, and then there's the um, uh, sports aspect of it. So if you were to compare sports judo versus sports BJJ, it's hard to compare, it's not the same rules, right? Uh, martial art wise, I'm talking more about the culture, how it came about, the philosophy behind it. BJJ is Brazilian, you know, and then Judo is Japanese. So once again, different culture. So, you know, but now if you look, so it's, you can't say one is better than the other, in my opinion. Okay. When you talk about cultures, 
And then when you talk about, um, uh, what do you call it, rule sets for, their, for the sport. Now, if you were to look into like the martial art, uh, the self-defense aspect of it, judo is better. Judo is better, I think, in my opinion, because um, you, all fights, 90% of the fights go to the ground, 100% of the fights start standing up. I'm just saying guys, and you have to be, if you wanna use your BJJ, you have to be able to take the person down. Now, while judo doesn't have as much, you know, um, fancy stuff, you don't need to get fancy, my friend. In a self-defense context, if you get close enough, you take the guy down, throw him hard, you could end it there. If it's not finished, you could finish it then. But you're not rolling around on the ground. So in a self-defense co uh, context, judo is superior, in my opinion. Okay? Mm, I know it feels like BJJ is superior because of, um, uh, you know, what the Gracies did, UFC 1 and all that. But the truth is, on the streets, oh man, it's dangerous, man. There's weapons, there's, there's multiple attackers, there's, you know, like the ground, the ground is hard, man. Like you don't wanna be rolling, rolling around on concrete. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me to, um, uh, to want to go there. I'm not saying that you, uh, it's a bad thing, but I'm saying that, dude, you know, to say that <laughs> it's a superior martial art, once again, if we, if we split it up. So we have self-defense aspect of it, martial art aspect of it, sport aspect of it. If you compare sport to sport, well, it's a different, it's a different sport. It doesn't make sense to compare it. As martial arts, we're looking more at culture, history, how it came about and all that. So it doesn't make sense. It's just, it is what it is on both ends. It's like apple and oranges. And then, but self-defense wise, yeah. What are you gonna do? BJJ boy, scoot on your butt. Like if you're in a bar, you're really gonna you gotta take the guy down, and then you know you're gonna have. Even if you end up on top and stuff like that, it could be a very dangerous situation. You know, mm, you get get like head kicked by you know their buddies and all that. Well, there's there's so many things, right? So that's just my take on it, guys. So let the arguments and discussions down begin down below. So put, uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with John? Do you disagree with John? Do you think John is a troll, or do you think he's just? Uh, I mean, or, or like, you know, is he serious or, or is it a joke or uh, I don't know. You guys, uh, you guys tell me, but uh, that's just my take on it. All right, guys. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And of course, share the video. It helps the channel grow a lot. And uh, that's it for now.